Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Dauntless. We're starting off with yet another Hellion Hunt today. I've been, uh, we're also using, uh, excuse me, game. We're also using an axe. I've been practicing a little bit off camera. Seeing as, you know, I want to do at least, at least semi-well. Uh, based on my practice, I, I have to say I can really see why people say the axe is like currently the best uh, the best weapon in the game if I can just climb here that would be great come on there you go anyway yeah it's a really good weapon even if you suck because it it requires even a brainless monkey like me is capable of getting ridiculous ridiculous amounts of damage and staggers on behemoths so that's pretty cool and also what the hell is that do you see that just like what is that? Is that the Hellion right there? Well, there is a Hellion. Oh, that's a tree. Oh. Took me a while to figure out what that was just rolling around over there. Anyway. Also, a uh, quick shout out to the Hondo who I was just, uh, just in a hunt with, but I wasn't actually recording at the moment. But they said hi and I want to say hi back because that seems like the polite thing to do. You know, if someone says hi, you should say hi back. I mean, unless for whatever reason you can't say hi back, but, you know. There is that. All right. We're also... God, I love that uh, swingy... Oh, boy. The fact that I can move while charging this. Oh, God, no, no. This is where, uh... Oh, I was doing s ever so slightly better. Of course, I was doing most of my practice on, like, weak, weak low-level shrikes and stuff, so I guess... Uh, oh, please, tell me it's not me you're targeting. Ruining my charge and everything. Anyway. Yeah. I and mean, we can get some good damage going here. We've got this lovely Karabak-themed weapon, so we'll be doing extra part damage, which is extra important. Because one of the big things I'm trying to do right now, oh god, trying to do right now is, uh, kind of a mixed thing. I want to finish upgrading all my weapons at this tier. Well done. Alright. Let's see if we can stagger this fella. Alright. Remember, Gaslight, don't get greedy. That's what kills you 99.9% .9 of the time. It's always the greed, man. You know, I saw that. I was like, you know what? I should probably roll out of the way of the eat. Oh, I love how you're, like, stagger resistant when you're in the middle of that animation. Or at least it... I mean, maybe I'm just imagining it, but it feels like that's what happens. What are you doing? What am I doing? Okay, he's he is uh, he's dazed and confused, which is oh damn it! Stuck on a bloody tree stump. I couldn't take advantage of him being stunned, but at least the team was able to. And that's the important thing at the end of the day, isn't it? Also, I just noticed I forgot to. Uh, restock on some strength potions, which are usually pretty good. Again, don't get greedy. Ow. And yet, I can't help myself. Sin of greed, man. Not good. Okay. Oh, oh wait, someone's uh, getting the revive in. Oh, look at that sexy damage. All right, let's try staggering him again if we can. Because that would be pretty sweet. Yeah, I should have seen that one coming. Dang, I was hoping to get at least one swing in there. Alright, so I think we can all agree 
where I'm going wrong at this particular stage of the game is getting a little greedy and making perhaps a few too many attempts. Whoa, boy. Oh, and that could have been good. We were on the verge of greatness. But I got greedy. I don't know why I even thought that would work. That was just like poor gamesmanship all around. And oh my god, we took his tail off. Oh, that is that is really satisfying. Oh. Oh Heli. I thought I could, might have got too close there, actually. But yeah. Now what are you doing? I mean. Come on, dog. I mean, that was me being too greedy yet again. Like, you'd figure at this point, like, I know where I'm screwing up the most. You'd figure I would fix it. But if you did figure that, you would be wrong. And as I think I've said before, I mean, if nothing else, I hope that at least my mistakes, you know, you see them, and you can learn from them, but you don't make them yourself. And boop him! Come on, come on, come on! Boo yeah! Oh, and we took out his head. And he's actually getting staggered. Dang. Should have been able to get more of a stagger in there, but you know, life, uh... Life sometimes doesn't give you exactly what you want. You know, I might actually make the axe my main weapon. Maybe. Oh, no, 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 no! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it to high holy hell! Uh, if only I was ever so slightly better and or faster, I probably could have, uh, you know, boinked him there so he couldn't run. I've managed to pull it off before, but alas, it was not to be. Excuse me. I seem to have, like, hiccups or something. A lot of, uh, timber rolling around. I mean, if we had some people picking that stuff up, there'd be basically free lumber for everybody. Or something, and then, you know, the lumber industry in Ramsgate would collapse, putting dozens of people out of, you know, out of work. Plus, also, all the, uh, free timber everywhere would probably also kill the housing market, so that would be pretty bad. You know, for all the people who build houses, because then they wouldn't have any money. But, you know, screw those people. I mean, what have they done for us lately? You know, aside from building all the houses. All right, come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 this is not gonna end well. Or is it? Okay. I can just, just get that stun in. Booyah, there, no, no, don't fall that way. That, you had, yeah, I, I need your leg, man. There's like one more leg, there we go. My God. Do you see the power of this axe? It's like the best weapon I've ever played with. Oh god, he's getting angry. And there is a chance that we wouldn't like him when he gets angry. I don't know why I thought I could avoid the consequences of getting hit there. But I did, and... Ah, yeah, that's what happens. I like, I like to think that someday I'm actually gonna learn to like, not get too greedy. I mean, I, I, it's probably something I'm gonna have to learn if I ever plan on uh, like fighting uh, Reza or the Shroud. Because I hear it's like at that point, like when you start hitting the end game, I guess that's when you start seeing a slightly, potentially more toxic side of the community. Like, don't get me wrong, I understand people getting frustrated. You know, if you have a bunch of noobs like me coming in when you're trying to, like, beat the end game or the current end game bosses. But, you know, just uh, screaming profanities at people isn't gonna, you know, help people learn. But I've gotta say, in general, like, I've never personally seen, like, any particularly, like, 
unfriendly or toxic behavior so far in Dauntless, which I think is pretty good. You know, it's a pretty friendly community going on here. And I like, oh no, 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 don't you run, don't you run. And he ran away. Good. Jolly good. Excellent. And we're still off to a good start. I mean, it'll be better once I learn to, you know, calm it down a little bit so that I don't get hit as often. I mean, we've already burned through all our potions. Like, it's like, it's almost like my thinking is that, oh, I've got five free potions, might as well make sure I use them all anyway. Which, to be honest, that's not, that's not completely terrible, but it's not great either. Since every second I spend, you know, lying on the ground stunned, or every second I spend drinking a potion, you know, as short as the animation is, that's a second that I'm not actually doing anything productive. So, you know, we probably, probably want to work on that. And we will. Though, it's probably, you know, like, by the time we get to, like, episode 50 in this series, that's when, that's when we'll see, like, the real professional, like, slaying, where I'm, like, one-shotting enemies, which is, like, completely impossible, but, you know, if you ignore the limits of gameplay and pretend that it's possible... Dang. I'm hoping to get one more swing in there. Oh well. So he hasn't gone into lava mode yet, I've noticed. Oh god, no, no! Almost had it. Almost had it. I really did. I rolled, but I gotta remember that, uh, you know, sometimes the attack lasts longer than the iframes of my, you know, my dodge roll here, so... Oh, here he goes. Oh! Okay, I was gonna say, he was gonna start his lava attack, but nope, that's it for this hunt, so... Away we go, on to something else. Alrighty then, so I guess it looks like our second hunt's gonna be against the Nezaga. Also, that one uncolored helmet it just looks stupid next to next to everything else. That's a little unfortunate, but you know, we'll worry about that later. But yeah, once we ideally by the time we finish this hunt, we'll have finished off one of our quests, so then next time, I think we'll dive into the maelstrom. I mean for that I might switch back to our spear for a little bit just because I'm you know, mildly concerned that the Maelstrom's gonna be... Well, maybe not too tough, because, I mean, there's nothing particularly new there that we won't have seen before. Just, like, upgraded versions, like upgraded Ember Mains and Dashers and other... other... horrifying... creatures. That'll be cool, then we'll eventually in access to the current endgame content, which interestingly enough, I remember reading just the other day on the Dauntless subreddit that apparently somewhere along the line, I don't know where or when, but the developers said that what's currently like the endgame content is intended to basically be like mid-game content once like, I guess the initial roadmap of stuff they have planned out is done. Of course, then again, I mean, when you think about it, with a game like this, assuming that it, you know, lasts for any any real period of time and new stuff keeps getting added and new tiers of difficulty and so on and so forth i mean i guess there might come a point where what's currently the end game could even basically be just like the beginner noob intro game or something well maybe not probably wouldn't be that dramatic but you know what i'm saying i mean sooner oh no no, no i'm not gonna make it in time keep swinging though oh god yeah, I just, I handled that in all the wrong ways. Which is a gaming by Gaslight staple. Oh god. And I let myself get lightning bolted. Good job. We're off to a great start here. Really great start. Alright, I'll admit. As bad as I've been playing, that one punch kind of seemed like it, you know, came from a little offside. Like, I was practically on the other side of him. See, that should have hit me. At least I think it should have, probably. 
Okay, that, that, that hit me like it should've. Alright. Let's focus on not getting hit now. Oh, there's his, uh, big ol'... You know, whenever he spins around like that, I'm always a little surprised when I... when I don't actually get hit. But are there... are there two? Oh, no. I was gonna say, are there, like, two of these groups of four? But no. It, oh, good, sweet baby Jesus. What is that on my desk? Oh, my God. That is a giant ant. What the hell are you doing here, ant? Die, ant. Ugh, gross. Now you got my notebook all covered in ant guts. Stupid giant ants. I mean, I've played Fallout. I know what happens when you let giant ants go around. Also, myself get struck by lightning there. Good, good job. Oh, that was really... Really poor timing. Really poor timing. Don't know what's up. I've been doing moderately well, but I guess I'm uh, dropping the ball a little. I'll blame it on like trying to concentrate on talking while also playing, but that's an excuse that only lasts for so long. Oh, oh, good. I, I was about to say I really didn't want to waste my, like, super strike. Still missed it! Okay, what are you getting ready to do there? Oh, there's this big ol', uh, layer thing. Let's, let's, uh, participate! Didn't even land a hit. Good job, Gaslight. Masterful play there. I mean, that was pretty good. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. And hit anything but the, the tuning fork here. I mean, it's not even really a tuning fork. But that's what I like to have picture it as, to some extent, anyway. Monstagger. Dang. That was unfortunate. Though, if I recall correctly. I think staggers, it might be staggers, it might be interrupts, I forget which, but like, one, one of them, one of those is like, shared, ow, so if like, one member of the team does it, then everyone gets credit for it, but, uh, which is kind of weird to me, like, same with part breaks, I, I, I personally think that, uh, like, if one person... What hit me? I... I don't know. Something hit me with lightning and I don't know what it was. Anyway, like... I feel for the... Oh god. I saw that coming and I didn't avoid it. Never a perfect example of, you know, why you shouldn't get too greedy there. Oh, look out, look out, look out! I mean, yeah, that works as well. Anyway, this has been a... Not a great fight, honestly. I blame myself, mostly. And and by not a great fight, I mean, like, specifically, I am not doing well in it. The rest of the team... Like, the rest of the team, they're the real stars here. I mean, that, that should be pretty obvious, but, you know, just in case it wasn't... You know, give a, give a hand to these fine slayers here who are doing all the real work. Oh, don't you run away! I'll be honest. There's like this l sort of laziness to Nezaga running. Like not not like the developers like making a lazy animation, but it, it's like the Nezaga just doesn't care, and he's just like like sinking into the ground. You know, or at least that's how it looked to me at that particular moment in time. Such is the case, I guess. I will grab that so we're ever so slightly faster. I don't think we need to pick up every single iron thistle. We could, but we won't. Probably keep grabbing these. These are always useful. Now, where is our fr Oh. Alright, there he is. This general 
south by south by southwest or west by southwest what would you say that is that we're heading southwest west something to that general effect all right looks like there's some good fighting already getting in there so that's good all right let's fire off another signal even though it looks like pretty much everyone's here more or less all right, let's see if I can get here and get my swing in before he runs away. Pretty lucky to have avoided that. And one more. Pull out of that. All right. A little late in the fight, but I am apparently slowly learning a little something about not being too greedy. Not much, but you know, it's, it's a start. And you know what they say, a journey of a thousand uh, miles begins with a single step. Get out, get out, get out! I'm proud of myself for that one. Wasn't too... fancy or anything, but... I'm proud of it. I'm proud of what I've accomplished here. Would have been even more proud if we had actually, like, smashed him open there. You think it'd be fair to say that I really didn't get much, uh, not on that attack, but on the one right before it where he, like, spun around, I didn't get much warning to prepare. Maybe so. But I should have been prepared for it nonetheless. Alright. Now, there is a limb there that I want to pick up. Oh, he's getting ready for something here. You know what? No one's reviving poor Ethan Pretzel. Let's, uh... Oh god, oh god, oh god. Well, crap. It was going so well. I mean, I guess it's, it's still going pretty well. I honestly can't complain. Life is, uh... Life's being good. Come on. Give him the old stun. Oh. Oh, I killed him, actually. Yay! Victory! Huzzah! Alright, so that's it for this episode. Until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all of you in the next video.